In this video, we will look at two examples to practice working on inverse trigonometric ratios. In example A, it says use the sides of the triangle and your calculator to find the value of angle A. Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a degree. So this is angle A, and the first thing you want to do is label the sides so that you can think about what type of ratio you're going to use, sine, cosine, or tangent. So we're going to label the sides with opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent. And notice in this problem we're dealing with adjacent and opposite. The hypotenuse is not labeled with anything. So adjacent and hypotenuse is, or sorry, adjacent and opposite is going to be tangent. If you remember SOHCAHTOA, that will help to remind you about which ratio is which. So opposite and adjacent is tangent. So that means our equation is going to be tangent of angle A equals 20, which is opposite, over 25, which is adjacent. So since we're solving for an angle, that means we have to use inverse tangent. So angle A itself will actually equal inverse tangent of the ratio of 20 over 25. So now we go over to the calculator. Usually to get your inverse functions, you have to push the second button and then tan. So we see the little negative one, that's our inverse. Then we plug in 20 divided by 25 and close the parentheses and click enter. And we get our answer that A equals 38.7, if we round to the nearest tenth, degrees. At this point, you could also find angle B if you wanted by remembering that the three angles in the triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. All right, now let's go on to example B. Angle A is an acute angle in a right triangle. Use your calculator to find the measure of angle A to the nearest tenth of a degree. So in this case, we're looking at three different examples. Angle A is going to be different in each case. And we're given the ratio for sine, cosine, or tangent for angle A in each case. So if sine of angle A equals 0.68, that means that angle A itself equals the sine inverse of 0.68. So we can use our calculator to figure out what that is. Again, look for the second button. Second sine gives you sine inverse and plug in 0.68. And we get our answer of 42.8 degrees. So the measure of angle A equals 42.8 degrees in part A. For part B, we have cosine of angle A equals 0.85. So that means angle A equals cosine inverse of 0.85. And again, we're going to use our calculator to help us out. Second cosine to get our cosine inverse, 0.85. And we get 31.8 if we round it. So that means the measure of angle A equals 31.8 degrees. For the last example, we're given the tangent of A is 0.34. So if the tangent of A is 0.34, that means A itself equals tangent inverse of 0.34. Again, relying on that calculator, it's pretty hard to do trigonometry without a calculator. And we do tangent inverse of 0.34, and we get our answer that the measure of angle A equals 18.8 degrees. Keep in mind with these two examples, in this example, we had all of our ratios given to us as decimals. And you can plug it into the calculator that way, or you can do it like it was in example A and plug it into the calculator as a fraction. And either way it will work, and it just depends on your preference or the way it's given to you in the problem.